friend who's been caught off guard by the upcoming viaduct closure, first tell them it's going to be all right. Then show them all the ways they can get around during the closure, as well as stay up to date on all things viaduct, right from their smartphones. Make sure they know before they go by downloading the WashDOT app, which has the tools to show you the current traffic and road conditions. Or they can have the traffic info come to them. Sign up for push alerts from SDOT and King County Metro that will send updates right to your phone. Don't forget about Twitter. Make sure your friend follows these four accounts to see what's happening on the roads. If your friend plans on ditching their car during the three-week closure, tell them King County has an app that makes trip planning a breeze. You can also find Metro and Sound Transit trip planners online, too. Seattle.gov slash traffic is also a great resource. It's got a slew of tools to help you navigate your way. Remember, the new tunnel opens in February. Until then, we're all in this together, beginning Friday, January 11th, after the evening commute, when the viaduct closes forever.